Everybody in your hometown demigrate you. Now they want to know how did you become a superstar? Ladies and gentlemen, make sure y'all stay tuned at the very end of the very video. Grand Rising on this beautiful day. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Don't forget to turn your notifications bell on, by the way. But let's get right into the video. Everybody in your hometown demigrated you. They put you down. I'm talking about they try to put you down so bad. They try to make you give up on your own dreams. This is how sick-minded, wicked, weak-minded people are in today's society. They see you moving up. I ain't talking about moving up to the east side like the Jeffersons. <laughs> but yeah, they see you moving up like elevators. And now they want to bring you down. They want to pull you down. But anybody can be a superstar. You just got to put the work in. But they choose not to put the work in. But you choose to. And this is why you're getting that glow up. As a matter of fact, you had that glow up ever since you came into God's green earth. You had that glow up ever since you was in your mama's stomach. You been had it. But guess what? Now you had realized that. And now you finna make the whole world see your light. That's why everybody's stopping staring at you because they see that superstar spirit you got inside of you. Understand where I'm coming from right now. Ever since you start noticing your gift, everybody in your hometown has something to say. Blah, blah, this. Blah, blah, that. We need to pull him down. We need to pull her down. No, they mad at the fact because they can't do what you are doing. Them people dressed up in all black, and guess what? Just like my hat and this shirt, you dressed up in all white. And the spirit that is, your heart is clean, but that heart pure evil. They need to get that stuff out their heart. Hey, no other people, it's not going to get you successful. I don't know why people like to think like that anyway. Thinking hate ain't going to get them so well. It's going to make them look like a super hater. A super enemy. They super embarrassed because you put them in their place. You proved them wrong. But you ain't had to prove nobody wrong. You ain't had to explain yourself to nobody or prove a thing to anybody. Listen to what I'm saying right now. You ain't had to do none of that because here's why. Ever since you were born, like I said, you had that glow up. But all you needed was a little motivation or somebody to push you towards greatness. You needed it. Now, ever since you woke up and found your potential, or oh, been a living nightmare for these folks. Now they can't sleep at night. Now, your success is causing them, as they say, is causing them not to sleep at night because when you were struggling, these people were so happy. I tell my day was sleeping peaceful at night, but now ever since you found your potential and you got out of your hometown, oh man, oh man, it became a living nightmare for these fools. This is why everybody constantly got your name in their mouth. This is why everybody is constantly thinking about you. Because once upon a time, you was not like this. Everybody in your hometown that grew up with you or watched you from a child, from a baby to a child to a teenager until now, all these people are in stun. They can't believe it. Y'all, I'm talking about y'all got these people so astonished. Y'all got these people so in shock. They got the Rub their eyes just to see, is that really you? Yes, it's really him. Yes, that's really her. Then when you go places, and you can tell if somebody don't like you or envious of you, when you speak to somebody, be like, hey, Grand Rising, how you doing? What's happening with you? They don't even want to speak to you. You be like, mm, okay, whatever. This way you had to get out of your city. Everybody in your hometown has something to say about you involving 
your growth made them feel some type of way because it don't matter if you're an OG or a youngin. Whatever it is that you have found in your potential, you could have people hating on you. As soon as you move far away, or oh, now, they love you now. Oh, now, they don't hate you no more. But one day they hate you, next day they love you, then again they hate you. People can't make their mind up about you. One day, they hate you. Then the next day, they love you. Then here it go the next day. They hate you again. If they ain't bipolar, I don't know what it is. These people got bipolar problems. That's how bipolar people act. One day, they all happy. Then the next day, they all mean and evil. Then the next day, they all love you again. Like, make your mind up. But that's all right, though. Because with them, that ain't none of your concern. That's their issues. They should take that bipolar medicine. Take that hate off their heart. Get that haterade out their system. They've been sipping too much haterade. Too much of it, too. And it's pure blood. Pure freaking, but uh, what's the word? It's pure demonic. They're sipping on that haterade. And you sipping on your water. You ain't got nothing but clean, fresh spirit inside of you. Your heart is filled with cleanness. Remember, cleanness is next to godliness. You clean and they dirty. And they wonder why you stand out. Why every time you go somewhere, you light the whole room up. You ain't got to have no fancy clothes. These expensive jewelry on your ear or whatever. People got to show off that's the word. Diamonds on their fingers. They got to have these doggone hip-hop diamond juries and all that type of stuff. But let me tell you something. Y'all don't need none of that because what you got inside of you is more worth than diamonds, diamond earrings, fancy cars, fancy houses. You've been a superstar since day one. Ever since you was a baby, you was a star. Everybody in your hometown, ladies and gentlemen, they feeling some type of way now. But guess what? Let them feel some type of way all they want to. That's what they get for underestimating you. When are people going to learn not to underestimate others? When are they going to learn I should not judge him or her because you may never know that person may become some one day. People never wake up and learn their lesson. They got the they got the lead life hit them upside the head a couple of times just to make them realize that person you judging, you're gonna need them one day. One day you're gonna be on their jock. And they ain't gonna be there any more longer. For many of you that got rejected in the past, I'm talking about friendship, relationships, a job opportunity, whatever it was, these people gonna be all in your DMs. Calling your phone if you still got the same phone number that it is. Now they want to have another chance with you. Now, all of a sudden, you on their mind. Now, all of a sudden, they want to get with you and see if you can hook them up on a date or something. Uh, we should go out sometime. Uh, we should hang out sometime. And you looking like a click or block because you ain't got time for it. People think they so smart. People really think you really going to let them in after they had demigrate you for all these many years. Ha! <laughs> Think again, you idiot. Think again, you buffoon. Don't be a fool. These people don't really love you. They want that spotlight. They want them blessings God is giving you right now. That's what they want. But they ain't going to get it, though. No, sir. No, ma'am. They not going to get it. This is what they get for underestimating you. This is what they get for picking and laughing at you. That's what they get for rejecting you. For the ones that been rejected in the past, y'all know what I'm talking about. Back then, they ain't want you. Now you're hot. They all know you. Tell them, when I blow up, you better not show up. People have a funny feeling of doing this. I don't know why they do this, but they do it. Want to sit up here and try to get all of your good graces. 
Now God is blessing you. Now here they come running. Time out. They want to be in your life now. If you don't get out of here. But that's what stupid people do. If they were really smart, they will believe in you since ever since you started building up your confidence, building up that gold dream. If they were really smart, they'd stick richer when you were struggling. But people wait till you get straight up to the top. Now all of a sudden, they want to so-called support you. Now they see you became popular and other people supporting you. Now all of a sudden, them dirty must rats want to support you all of a sudden. Man, get out of here with all that. These individuals, or should I say these low individuals, they got some nerve. When I say they got some nerve, they got some nerve. Want to come up all in your face, trying to be all in your good grace. Now all of a sudden, they want another chance with you. Now all of a sudden, they want to be your friend. They want to be your boo thing. Mm -mm. It don't work like that. If these people really believed in you, they would have stood right by your side when you were struggling. But people always show their true colors. When you start moving higher, once you start hitting that superstar status, here they come running. But like I told y'all yesterday in that YouTube short, it doesn't matter who you are. I don't care who you, I don't care what you look like. I don't care what your skin complexion you could be. Black. You could be white, Indian, Asian. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your accent is and your voice. <laughs> I don't care where it is. <clears throat> you still a superstar. It don't matter what they say or what they trying to do. You are a superstar. So shine like one. Don't ever let nobody try to make you dim your light. People are already intimidated by you already, so why are you going to dim your light for them anyway? Everybody in your hometown hated your guts, so guess what? Shine bright on them haters. Shine bright on them enemies. Shine bright. And as a matter of fact, don't wear no fancy clothes. Just dress regular and watch. All eyes is going to be all on you, my friend. I get it. I'm going to tell you that. Listen. Y'all got the potential. Don't waste it. You got one life. Go out there and pursue your dreams. Go out there and travel. Save up some money. Travel. Meet new people. But don't ever take your eyes off the prize. But these fools in your hometown, they want your cake and eat it too. But tell them they about to bake their own cake and eat it. If they can bake a cake, that is. If. Keyword, if. Because if they can bake their own cake, why they want yours? If they want some blessings, why they can't go out there and get their own blessings? Huh? Come on now, y'all talk to me. This is serious right here. This is some serious stuff right now. And they thought it was a game? Oh, no, no, no. It's not a game. This is real serious right here. People were laughing at you like you were some type of joke or something. But now, they are the laughing stock in town. Now, they are the talk of the town now. You was the laughing stock of the town. You was the talk of the town. But now, everybody want to know. How he became so famous? How did she become so famous all of a sudden? Now, they want to get all of your business. Now, they want to know. How long you had that talent? <laughs> you had it since you was a baby. Ever since you start saying Google, da da, you been had that talent. But people underestimated you. But they thought they really knew you then, huh? <laughs> Quite frankly, they didn't. <laughs> the freaking idiots that they are. The low individual cockroaches that they are. Listen, so many people demigrate you. I'm talking about so many of them. They thought they really knew y'all, but they don't know a doggone thing about you. The only thing they knew about you was your name. 
That's why they slatted your name. That's why they had to get other people to join their little cop watch clique. Now they're sitting over there, scaring all over the place, trying to get that story added up and trying to get it, their pieces to fit together. But now look at them. They can't get the pieces to fit together now because the truth had been expelled. I mean exposed, excuse me. The truth had been exposed. The cat had been let out of the bag. Now what they gonna do? Tell me y'all and ask yourself that. What are they going to do? They ain't going to do nothing but sit there and watch you become a superstar. As a matter of fact, disregard it. You're already a superstar. <laughs> They're going to sit right there and watch you shine brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. They're about to put some Stevie Wonder glasses on and worm. Because if they don't, and they keep on watching you and staring at you, they're going to get blind. So if they like to stare at you and have this stern problem, they're going to mess their eyes up. They're going to mess their head up. Because they constantly and constantly and constantly and constantly and constantly, constantly worrying about you. But what all this was at back then when you was on the low, when you was at the bottom? But ever since you started from the bottom, and like Drake said, now you're here. Started from the bottom, now you're here. Now they want to have something to do with you. I'm telling y'all, people think they slick, man. They ain't slick. They think they smart, but they not smart. They want you to think that they are smart. They want you to accept them now. You was trying to get accepted until they little cockroach click. But now, all of a sudden, they want you to sit now. I'm telling y'all, them tables, I said this a thousand millions of times, them tables get to turn every day. Every day, them tables are turning. They are flip-flopping on these fools. Why you think everybody in your hometown want to know where you at now? You could be in L.A., New York, Chicago. You could be in there in Texas. Wherever you at, people in your hometown want to know. Where you at? Where you doing? Where is she at? Where is she doing? I want to know what they doing. Instead of worrying about their own lives. Worry about your own life, big dummy. Like Red Fox used to say, you big dummy. These people would never ever be able to get together. I'm telling you all right now, they lost in the sauce. But you were born with the sauce. This is why people in your hometown... Demigrate you so much. This is why they want to know. And all up in your 411. Trying to know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> it's none of their business in your way. It, it's none of their beeswax. So if everybody try to hit you up. Ignore them. Because you ain't got time to be sitting on social media. Trying to talk to people from your hometown. You're too busy for that. And if you did have the time, guess what? You want to talk to them anyway. <laughs> Straight facts. Based on the true story. You wouldn't. They ain't talking about that anyway. So why you want to take somebody that ain't about nothing? I wouldn't. And I know you wouldn't either. Hell. You got too much time on your hands. You got bigger fish to fight out here. You ain't got time to be sitting up here. Doing this with a bunch of low individuals that laughed at you. You ain't got time for that. You, as the superstar that you are, <clears throat> excuse me, you finna go out there in a whole nother town and inspire a whole lot of people. God finna put you in places you would never thought you would be able to be. So don't be trying to pitch yourself and say, am I dreaming? No, 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 this not a dream. This is something you dream of since you was a kid. Now, ain't no more pinching and no more. I must be dreaming. Let me pinch myself. No more of that. This is reality. This is based on the true story. Your time is coming. Remember, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you look like. I don't care what the tone in your accent or your voice is. I don't care you sound country or not or British or whatever it is. 
<laughs> you are a superstar and realize that. But if you ever forget, I'm going to remind you, you are a superstar. And guess what? Since you are a superstar, shine like one and never forget. Shine bright. Don't ever dim your life for nobody. Shine bright like a light. Shine bright like the sun in the clouds. And finally, shine bright like a diamond.